Hello Virgo and welcome to your mid-November to mid-December 2021 singles love reading or whenever you find this it's meant to be for you right? Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. If you're returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes, all the things. I really appreciate you all being here. Virgo, this is a general reading. Again, it will not resonate with every single one of you. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. You can check your moon and rising signs. They are listed below. I put a link below to astro.com. There's plenty of astrology sites. Um, but that's just the one I use. If you like to know what decks of cards I'm using, I have a list of those below as well as my website. If you feel a connection and you feel like I understand you <laughs> or however, you know, that you have that connection, uh, then please, you know, check out my website to see if you like a personal private reading, right? That is the way to go. Virgo. How are you guys? How's everybody doing? Hopefully well. Hopefully staying safe and sane in this world that we live in. Wherever you're watching this from, welcome. I really appreciate y'all being here. Right, one more. Here we go, Virgo. Singles. You can be newly single. You could be um, single a very, very long time. You could maybe never have been in a relationship before. Ha. Leo got the same placement. Wonders. So there's, uh, there could be some correlation between you and Leo. Again, that same placement, same card right there. I think that's all. All right. Wonders. I just see that as really getting in touch with your spirituality, really taking that next uh, leap, taking that, uh, it's like a breakthrough that you've had in your higher consciousness, in your, your spiritual growth. You have that breakthrough. I see that, that stone breaking through. It's like, uh, could be something you were stubborn about. Could be something that you were not, um, <laughs> not willing to um, acknowledge or or accept. And then you saw, or you felt, or you see, and you have this beautiful understanding now. Wonders. You have standstill. Beautiful colors. Just being comfortable where you're at. Not trying to force anything. And you have release. I always see this as, you know, what no longer serves you. Uh, releasing the old so new can come in. If you live in a country or an area where there's fall, like I do now, this could be um, a prominent time for you. All right, we have Wonders, Page of Cups. Um, again, approaching this whole new level of consciousness with a sense of wonder, a sense of, look at that King of Cups, isn't that something? And Queen of Wands. A sense of wonder and a sense of curiosity with the page, you know? Newness, new beginnings, uh, a new start, uh, new eyes. Kind of seeing this, um, seeing his believing energy. You know, he's looking at that fish coming out and that it's almost like the same thing. It's like there's something coming out for you. There's something uh, being shown you. There's something that you're seeing. And with the cup energy... Because you have the cup, you have the page and the king. So with that kind of energy, it is your emotions. It is your feelings. It can be your intuitiveness. It can be your psychic awareness. All that could be coming into play, Virgo. Being in touch with your emotions. Being on that level. Being over that level. Seeing something in something that you've never seen before. 
Then you have standstill with the King of Cups. Standstill to me is a card about, you know, obviously standing still, being still, be still and know that I am God, right? That's the first thing I think of. But standstill also um, makes me think of just because something is being um, slowed down or progression doesn't seem to be made on some level, that know that there's work on behind the scenes. Know that there's a reason for the stall. Know that there's a reason for something to, um, to stop. Now, this is a singles love reading, right? So, we have to associate this with love. And I just, again, see this as spirituality. I see this as growth. I see this as coming, you coming into a new vibration. And with standstill, it's almost like... Um, well, you could have had this, uh, this feeling of moving forward and enlightenment. And then all of a sudden, you know, nothing, you don't feel, you don't feel like you're moving forward. But again, know that things are going on behind the scenes. Know that there's movement behind the scenes. It's like the stage is getting prepped. The king is one to take action. So there's actions taken out for emotions. There's actions taken for romance. There's actions taken, you know, for um, the heart. Now, this could be a new person coming in. You got the king and the queen here. So, um, We have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy with the Queen of Wands. And then we have the Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy with the Cups. So again, know that there's things going on behind the scenes. Um, King of Cups, if they're coming in, they are very romantic. They're very much in control of their emotions. They are, um, they can be a guide, a counselor counselor that could be somebody you look up to or somebody that's older than you it's almost like you have to um not leave something behind but that kind of feeling and know it's in good hands this could be a, a friend this could be a very close friend of yours that may turn into something more down the road. There may be some type of romance there under the surface. Maybe there was some type of romance under the surface and you all put a standstill to it. Maybe, maybe you decided to wait or maybe you decided, you know, to wait, to hold off. There's a beautiful card of release with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, again, if it's you, it has fun-loving energy. It is energy of creativity and growth and wisdom. It is getting things done. Um, you know, not wanting to sit still, not wanting to wait around. You want to go, go, go. Doesn't really mesh with the standstill card. If this is a relationship that has started and maybe this person let their feelings known to you, uh, maybe you had to release um, something from the past, some type of um, some type of uh, knowledge or learnings that were out of date. That no longer served you. No longer served who you are now. If that makes any sense, Virgo. If this is not you and it's another person coming in. Even though it's a queen, it could be a king. Or a king. It could, male or female. There's no gender in... I mean, there are on the cards, but they're not. They're interming... They could be both. You know, it doesn't matter. It's just... Don't think just because it's a queen, it's a girl coming in. It could be, or it could be a guy. 
But it's that fun-loving energy. It's getting yourself out of the house energy. Releasing something. Turning, not really turning your back on it, but, but being able to let go of something. Maybe let go of yourself a little bit. Maybe let, let loose. This king could help you. Again, I still think... The king is a friend that might turn into something more, or maybe there's there's potential there, but maybe it's a standstill and nobody's ready for it yet. Maybe there's still some things for you to have to go through, or maybe this person's married and they have to release, or maybe they're involved with somebody else and they have to release, or maybe you're involved with somebody else and you have to release, but this is a singles reading, so... Oh, wow. Two cups. Look at that. Queen and King of Cups. There you go. Queen and King, and King, Queen and King of Cups. Of the standstill. Alright. So then we have... Partnership. Romance. Balance. Choices. Two of Cups can be lovers. Like-minded souls coming together. Like-minded people. People mirroring each other. Having a lot in common. And that's under wonders. Understand so you have the King and Queen of Cups. So again, if it's an aspect of you being on the same level as this person coming in. Or there's, there's partnership that has to release in order to move forward I think there's a lot going on behind the scenes again with that standstill that's cut that's what I keep feeling it's almost like um It's almost like if there is a, a significant other in this person's life and they were breaking up when you all met, just say. And they said, you know, we're breaking up and you're not seeing it visually. It is going on behind the scenes. It's not something out there. Even the way the queen's looking, it's very inwardly focused. There's a focus on the emotions. Now, if this is an aspect of yourself here, again, that focus on emotions. I think there's, this shows that you have more in common than you realize. This shows you have more in common than you realize. This shows you keep sabotaging your happiness. You keep putting those swords, thoughts, actions, communication in to the mix. Well, what if they are married? What if they cheat on me? What if, what if, what if? Well, my last relationship, blah, blah, blah. What if they're like them? Three of Swords is a card of growth. It is also a card of learning from your past mistakes. Acknowledging your past mistakes. Almost like not allowing yourself to have fun. It's like it, as soon as you start having fun, you feel guilty. There could be a relationship that's breaking up. Either yours or a partner's that's coming in. And maybe you think you should be sad or melancholy the whole time. 
but wonder what your ex-partner's doing. They're probably out living it up. King of Swords. Interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Way too many cards, guys. Again, that could be somebody else coming in. No nonsense. King is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Thoughts. Actions. Doesn't wait around, you know. Uh, speaks their mind. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. The lovers. There you go. There you go. Again, choices. Like-minded people. Card of harmony. Card of peace. Card of balance. Beautiful. So in all this, love prevails. Right? Love prevails. Again, King of Swords, somebody that cuts through the BS. They don't put up with lies, deceit, none of it. It could be an aspect of yourself. It could be a new person coming in. If it's an aspect of yourself, it's really standing your ground, being firm, learning. Again, taking the knowledge you've learned and, and putting it into um, what you will and will not stand for. What you will and will not put up with. Kind of ruling your own emotions and your own actions. Being in control of your own actions and your own um, your own overall changes that you're making in yourself. I feel Virgo. Being confident. You have the Ace of Wands with the Standstill card. With the King and Queen of Cups. And the Ace of Wands potential coming in. New growth. New ideas. Creativity. Something's being offered. A spark. You know... You have to have a spark in a relationship for it to take, for it to make a flame. And that's the spark. You're being given the spark. And this is telling you to put away, you know, release this. Release. Don't. Release the guilt. Release the um, heartache and the pain and the what, woulda, coulda, shouldas. And all the what ifs. Let it go. It's a card of Scorpio. It's a death card. It means letting things go, letting things die, letting things pass away so something new can transform. Letting go of the old relationships, letting go of the old feelings attached with those relationships. Coming into the wonders of a new relationship, breaking through to a new level of understanding about yourself. Right? Breaking through a new understanding about yourself. Loving yourself. Letting go of these hurtful words and arguments and abuse that might have been associated with past relationships. Knowing that what you're coming into doesn't have to be that at all. So letting go of that so you're not carrying that into the future with you. So you're not carrying it into this. Having that new spark of love. That new spark of romance. That new spark. And knowing you had to stand still. Knowing, knowing you had to pause. Knowing you had to take the time in order to release and move forward. And not feel guilty. And not feel... Um, Depressed isn't the right word, but not feeling um, 
not having the guilt, not having that, uh, not having it on your conscience is what I keep hearing. Beautiful reading, really, Virgo. Lots of potential for romance and relationships. You have to let me know how this plays out. Hyacinth. We have playfulness. There you go. Right there. Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. I agree. Playfulness. I love that card. That is exactly what you need. Let's see. Take time each day for lighthearted fun. Take a break from work and simply get up and move. Go outside barefoot and feel the grass between your toes. Twirl around and let the wind take your troubles away. A playful attitude will infuse everything you do with more energy. I totally agree. And that's what I said with the Queen of um, Wands. That playfulness, that doing, that um, lightheartedness. Not taking yourself too seriously. But then when you start to have fun and you're releasing this, you start to have that guilt. So it's really learning to let go of that guilt and really learning to live for you. All right, Virgo, please let me know if this resonates. If you know any other Virgos that this sounds like, please feel free to share. That would be fine. Take care of yourself and each other. Um, I'd love to hear in the comments below if this resonates. If you don't want to comment, if you just want to give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that too. That shows me that you got, you know, something out of the reading and you liked it and, it, and we can do that also. If you don't have time to write, I understand completely. Now too with this death card that, you know, even though things, things are hard or seem hard or can seem hard to let go of and break away from, you have that sun. That sun's coming up dawn of a new day it doesn't mean the end the end it just means transition transformation the butterfly the caterpillar and the chrysalis right it's the ooey gooey going through that's what you're having to go through when you release when you release and let go of then you can be the butterfly you can transform and be happy All right, Virgo. Beautiful reading. Beautiful reading. Take care of yourself and each other. Stay safe and healthy. Until next time. Bye for now. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>